ask yourselves for a moment, what does a hero mean to you? And what makes someone a hero? For me, a hero isn't somebody born with great power. A hero is somebody who is selfless, who is generous in spirit, and who tries to give back as much as possible and help people. To me, a hero is someone who saves people and who really deeply cares. As a god once said, a true hero isn't measured by the size of his strength, but by the strength of his heart. In the world of Gilinor, there are many people who carry the title of hero. But only a few deserve the true privilege to be called a hero. I'm glad you've come by. I need some help. What help do you need? Some cultists of Zamorak have gone into the catacombs with a prisoner. I don't know what they're planning, but I'm pretty sure it's not a tea party. There are three of them, and I'm not as young as I was the last time I was here. I don't want to go down there without backup. I need to know more before I help you. Very wise. I got into a lot of trouble in my youth by rushing in without knowing a situation. Who are you? My name is Zinnia. I'm an adventurer. I'm one of the old guard, I suppose. I helped found the Champions Guild, and I've done a fair few quests in my time. Now, I'm starting to get a bit old for action, which is why I need your help. How did you know who I am? Oh, I have my ways. I get the feeling that you're one to watch. You could be quite the hero someday. Tell me more about these cultists. Lumbridge is a Saradominus town but there will always be some people drawn to worship Zamorak. They must have found some ritual that they think will give them power over other people. Who did they kidnap? A young woman named Ilona. She just left Lumbridge to apprentice at the Wizard's Tower. They grabbed her on the road. Without training, she didn't have a chance. What's down there? The catacombs of Lumbridge Church. The dead of Lumbridge have been buried there since, well, for about 40 years now. Okay, that's enough questions. So will you help me, adventurer? Of course, Xenia. I knew you would. We've got no time to lose. You head down the stairs and I'll follow. Come on, Kale! We don't have forever. Look, Reese, are you sure about this? There must be some other way we can- We made a blood pact, Kale. The three of us are in this all the way. Yes, but- Do we have to take this, idiot? Yes, the blood pact! You read the book! Let me go! I didn't make any blood pact- Shut up! Kale, you stay here, guard the door. You come on. There's a guard in the room ahead. Together, we should be able to take him out. What's the plan of attack? Looks like the cultist has a bow. The best way to deal with someone with a ranged weapon is to get close to them and attack with melee. Let's get on with this. Ah! Zinnia, are you okay? It looks like I'm too old for this after all. 
You'll have to do the rest without me. I'll follow you, but I'll stay out of combat. Are you going to be alright? Don't worry about me. I've survived worse wounds than this, but I'm going to hang back from combat. But I'll be here to give you advice if you need it. I'm sure you can beat these cultists on your own. Don't worry. I can handle this. you going to kill me? That depends. I have some questions. Yes, I'll tell you anything. Who are you? I... Uh, my name's Kale. I'm a ranger. Well, I, I'd been packed since charge, well, I guess I wasn't as good as I thought. Who are the others? Reese is the leader. All this, the blood pact, it was his idea. He doesn't know magic, but he's a strong fighter. Caitlin is a wizard. She was a student at the Wizard's Tower, but she left. Wanted to study dark magic. What were you planning to do down here? I... I don't really know! Honestly! Listen, Reese used to be an acolyte at the church here. He discovered something about these catacombs. I don't know what. Something about how they were built, I think. Uh, Caitlin was a student at the Wizard's Tower. She found something too, in the ruins of the old tower, from back when Zamorakian wizards used it. Caitlin and Reese put what they'd found together and... They said they'd discovered a ritual they could perform, something that could give them power over life and death. We made a blood pact, the three of us, so that we'd be in it together, whatever happened. Then we kidnapped Ilona. She was another apprentice from the Wizard's Tower, someone Caitlin had known there. Reese and Caitlin are going down there to perform the ritual. I don't... I, I don't know what it involves. And you just went along with this? The blood pact! We made a blood pact. And Reese said that bound me to him. It meant I had to do anything he said. He, he said he could curse me. Enough questions. Ah, uh, are you going to kill me now? No, just drop your weapon and get out of here. Yes, okay, thank you. I don't think that cultist will be any more trouble. I'm glad you didn't have to kill him. I think the second cultist was using magic. She used a range weapon to defeat magic users. Ask me if you need any help. You're holding the bear right. You should be able to attack the second cultist without any trouble. Let's see if I can still use one of these. What are you waiting for? Finish me. Kale told me what you were planning to do down here. Idiot hero. You don't even know what this place is, do you? This is the tomb of Dragif Nan. Dragif Nan was a necromancer. He lived in Lumbridge decades ago. He kept his necromancy secret. Everyone thought he was just a wealthy nobleman and wizard. He paid for these catacombs to be built, and he's interred here in a special tomb. I was a student at the Wizard's Tower. I discovered the note Dragif Nern had made while he was a wizard there. Reese was an acolyte here at the church. He learned that Dragif Nern was buried here. The body of a necromancer contains powerful magic. We learned we could perform a ritual on his tomb to unlock the secrets of his work. We would have gained mastery over life and death. Enough talk. Alright. Now finish me. No. Just drop your staff and get out of here. The second cultist came past me on her way out. I don't think she'll be any more trouble. I think
think you'll need to get across to the other gallery. There should be a winch that opened the gates so you can walk across. The cultist mentions someone called Dragoth Nern. Dragoth Nern? I was hoping he wouldn't come into this. Listen, I met Dragoth Nern once. I was just starting out as an adventurer and he was an old man. I discovered his secret. Dragoth Nern was a wizard. He studied at the wizard's tower, but he also studied the dark art necromancy on his own. He had a secret magical workshop beneath Lumbridge. He would steal bodies from the graveyard and perform experiments on them. Necromancy was like an addiction for him. When I met him, he was very troubled, very conflicted. I convinced him to put an end to it all. He couldn't destroy all of the undead he'd created, not permanently. So he trapped them all in the lower levels of his workshop and sealed it off. He converted the upper levels into these catacombs. Everyone thinks Dragith Nern is buried here in this tomb, but he isn't. He built the tomb to hide the entrance to the lower levels. Dragith Nern is still down there. He knew that when he died, he would rise again as a monster, so he sealed himself in with his creatures. The sooner we end this blood pact, the better. The last cultist is a melee fighter, so you should use magic with that staff you got. Hate to break it to you, Xenia, but I'm not really a magic user. Well, I hope you make up for that with your skills as a swordsman. The potion is complete. Where are they? The group should be present. Let me go, you- SHUT UP! Who are you? What are you doing here? My name's Kai Drake. I'm an adventurer. This will be your tomb, adventurer. Don't worry, Iona. I'm here to rescue you. Thanks, Saradonin. He's insane. He's going to kill me. Well, maybe you can take her place as the sacrifice, adventurer. Now stand and fight. I let both the others live. This doesn't have to end in violence. They were weak. Zamorak will turn his face from them. But he will smile on me when I offer him your blood! I'm your worst nightmare, Zamorakian scum. The blood pact will prevail. <laughs> 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 What did you hope to accomplish here? The end of the weak god Saradamon's dominance over Lumbridge! With the Blood Pact and the power of the Tomb of Dragoth Nern, we would send an army of the dead to claim this town for Zamoric! Well, that stops here, by my hands. Finish it then! I'm not killing you. Drop your weapons. Get out of here. No! There must be death! The Blood Pact must be complete! No! Stop! Help! And tie me so we can get out of here! Come on, let's go. Thank the gods. We're out. I thought we were gonna die down there. 
You saved my life, whoever you are. Thank you. Well, adventurer, and it looks like you have prevailed. You should keep the cultist weapons as a reward. Thanks, but I don't really need them. Give them to some adventurers who will use them. Very well. Is there anything you want to ask before you go seek out new adventures? Yeah. You weren't really wounded, were you? Very perceptive, adventurer. I was wounded, but not as badly as I looked. I took the opportunity to see how you would fare. You risked that woman's life for the sake of a test? You're a born adventurer. I can practically smell it on you. People like you have a habit of coming back from things that would kill an ordinary person. So, how did I do then? Very well indeed. You're a hero. You're exactly the sort of person the world needs. I'm glad I met you. What will happen in the catacombs now? Reese managed to complete the ritual with his own death. He's opened the staircase to the nest of undead creatures in the lower level of the catacombs. Without a necromancer to control them, the creatures won't leave the tomb. I'll warn Father Eric not to let people down there. You're an adventurer, though. If you want to, you can venture into the tombs and fight the creatures. Could be a good little training exercise for me if I get bored. Thanks. No, thank you, Kydrake. Farewell for now.